Coming up, breaking news, a water rescue involving a police officer, three kids, a capsized boat, and only one life jacket. Plus, David is tracking more storms on the nine day. I'm out in the hot sun. I know how to hydrate on the inside. But what about my skin? Coppertone Sports Sunscreen puts a breathable layer on your skin to help keep it hydrated by holding in natural moisture while providing protection from harmful UV rays. Game on. Coppertone Sport. TJ Maxx. Brands that help you express yourself. At prices that look good on you. Keep your standards high and your spending low. Max Life at TJ Maxx. You can't put two in one. At Intel, they make technology that lets a device be a laptop and a tablet. So you can put two in one. No, you can't. Can. Can't. Can. Upgrade to a two in one with Intel. Exercise is easy. Entertainment is interactive. Your virtual reality session is terminated. Children aren't always what they appear. Huh? And life's most elusive questions will be answered. There is life out there. Halle Berry stars in Extend from your CBS This Summer. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 with breaking news in high definition. We do start with breaking news first at 10 tonight. A police officer and three children are rescued tonight from the Washita River in Caddo County. The Highway Patrol says the boat was only equipped with one life jacket, but everyone is now safe and getting metal, medical treatment. No word on their conditions or what led to that situation. Can tell you storms are exiting the state, but more are in the forecast this week, which means the possibility of even more flooding. Yeah, David and his team are tracking the developing timeline for us. David, what's the latest? Well, you know, guys, we're getting a break, at least for most of us this evening. Now, today we had rain, but uh, the rain we had was not that heavy, which was good. We had four tornadoes today in Oklahoma. That was in southeastern Oklahoma, and a couple of big tornadoes going on down in Texas between Texas and Oklahoma today, we had right at 20 tornadoes. So, yes, there was a small outbreak of severe weather today. And, again, those tornadoes were in southeastern Oklahoma and then also a little farther south. Look at Texas, now near Abilene, near Austin today, near San Antonio. A little unusual to get tornadoes this far south. And these were some stronger tornadoes, again, down there and off into central Arkansas, even a tornado over there. The bottom line is things are a little quieter for us tonight. The squall line still continues to march to the east. Tornado warnings every now and then pop up along that line. That jet stream is still strong overhead. For us, for now, thunderstorms in Kansas, thunderstorms off in eastern Oklahoma, and a little bit of light rain going on up north near Medford, also near Perry and Pawnee. Not a big deal, though. No lightning with that. Hey, coming up at 1015, severe weather. Which days? Well, as early as tomorrow, more of that. More rain equals more flooding. That's coming. A wet and stormy nine day here in a few minutes. Guys, back to you. All right, David. Want to remind you, get live weather updates by texting 9CONNECT to 79640. And we'd like you to interact with us online with the hashtag OKWX. Happening now, the storms, they're washing out roads all over the state. And one of those is in Cleveland County. And it's making it impossible for some people to go just about anywhere. News 9 Steve Shaw is live in the newsroom with a look at the situation. Steve? Kelly, it's not just that those folks can't use the road. It means fire trucks, ambulances, and any other first responders can't get through there either. This has never, never been like this ever. And there's no way that us as a community can handle this. We can't handle it. Oki McCarty lives at the end of this now badly deformed and pretty much useless gravel road known as Carolyn Drive. We called the county and the county said it's not a county road so they won't help us at all. I've called the governor's office. I've called my representative. 
I've called the senator. What did they say? Nobody, nobody will help us. Nobody will help us. It's a private road. They keep telling us it's a private road. He says his wife and at least two other people who live along here are disabled. And he says there are babies that live here as well. It's like we got a storm coming in right now, tornado warnings behind it. We have elderly that lives behind you. It's going to be half to us to go back to get them to put them in tornado shelters. About the only way to get through this muck right now is on foot or on one of these. But is it reasonable to strap a disabled or elderly person on the back? A Cleveland County Sheriff's official told me Monday this is an issue for the Cleveland County commissioners. Yes, we pay taxes. Uh, we're never late on our taxes. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm a taxpayer too. Why can't I have a maintained road? We have trash city trash pickup here from Oklahoma City. Further complicating this is those folks live in Oklahoma City limits, even though it's considered Cleveland County. And if you call 911, there's a chance Pottawatomie County would show up there as well. Steve Shaw, News 9. Well, you can tell it is a mess there for sure, Steve. All right. New developments in Kingfisher tonight. High flood waters over the weekend shut down all the main roads in and out of town. But we can tell you things have improved. The water receded today, and those roads are now open once again. Definitely good news for people there, but there are still dozens of road closures across our state, and you can see those at News9.com. We're following this developing story. Danger along the swollen Cimarron River as it swallows up two homes today in the Twin Lakes community up in Logan County. With more storms in the forecast, more homes could be at risk in the coming days. But for one victim, it's too late already. All she has left now are memories. Most of it had fallen in. There was, a, there was one wall left. <laughs> so, um, but it is completely gone now. The area has sustained uh, river erosion in the past. Right now, emergency crews are monitoring the situation, hoping the river will stabilize. And we're continuing our team coverage. Raging floodwaters put Purcell businesses out of business. As they try to figure out how to move forward, waters came up at least four feet inside a tire shop, which also doubles as the owner's home. News 9's Evan Anderson is here with their story. Evan? Yeah, man, to talk about some scary moments. It was a matter of time before Dee Bibbins and Jim Sloan say they would have been trapped inside water up to their neck. Around 4 a.m. Saturday morning, water came rushing into their business, and they didn't have much time to get out. Hey, guys, we got some serious flooding here for sale. If we wouldn't have left, I don't think we would have got out of here. It's something Dee Bibbins and Jim Sloan say they've never seen before. Bruce Sloan Tire Service wasn't just their business. It was also their home. I just lost everything I own. It's very sad that we've lost this. A water line still visible where several feet of water set inside for hours. Now all that's left is waterlogged tire repair equipment, flooded out work vehicles, and a muddy mess. I didn't have time to grab nothing but the, her and the dog, and by the time we got in the truck, the water was coming in the floorboard. With the constant rainfall, nearby Walnut Creek had already overflowed its banks. The roadway was flooded, and so was everything else around them. He says water was literally up to her knees as they waded their way out to higher ground. I had my dog and then me and Jim, and it was really scary. It really was. If I hadn't woke up, we probably would have drowned or fried by electricity. I ain't never seen nothing like it. The rain could stop anytime. I mean, we're good on the rain. Since Dee and Jim are in a flood zone, they can't get flood insurance, but say they plan to clean up and rebuild. The two are staying at an area hotel in the meantime, thanks to a local church. Evan Anderson, News 9. We definitely wish them the very best. And also a scary situation to tell you about near Broken Bow in McCurtain County. Firefighters try a hot water rescue and then call in the National Guard to help save 13 people trapped in a two-story cabin. Tonight we know all those people are safe. Also a close call for Slaughterville firefighters as high water overtakes their new brush pumper and they're inside all the while. The truck is now covered with grass and mud and wheat. It won't run either. Firefighter Chris Tolson says he saw the truck being overtaken and called for help. I think one of them climbed on the back while the other one was still inside. He almost got swept away, but thank goodness one of the guys on the other truck was able to grab him and pull him in. Those firefighters are okay, but they're not the only rescuers who had to be rescued. 
News 9's Jolene Cheney will have that story still ahead. And we sent Jim Gardner in Bob Mills Sky News 9 HD up in the air again today over Arcadia Lake. Look at that. At last check, it was about 11 feet above normal. And this is now a common sight across our state. Beaches, boat ramps, and docks are all closed, and the park is not allowing any new campers. Neighbors around Lake Thunderbird are dealing with flooding as well. And today, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol called, called off boating there. It says all ramps are closed. We know the lake is so full, water was released from the dam yesterday, putting people near the Little River on alert. And other news tonight, tracking crime. The search is on for two escapees from the Correctional Center in Fort Supply. The Woodward County Sheriff's Office says Juventino Rojas and Carlos Gastelum were discovered missing this morning. Both were serving time for drug crimes. A Metro woman accused of using a stolen credit card is caught on camera. Midwest City Police say the card was taken sometime last Monday from a home near Northeast 19th and Post. If you have any information on that, call Midwest City PD. And a Tulsa County deputy loses control, crashes his patrol car, and is knocked unconscious. And the Oklahoma Highway Patrol says the deputy was responding to the call when he went too fast on an exit ramp, hit the railing, and rolled over. The Highway Patrol says sand on the road also played a part in that. We're told the deputy should be okay. Well, a trip to a national park in South Dakota takes a tragic turn for an Oklahoma family. The Highway Patrol says a man from Salisaw died over the weekend as his truck went down a steep embankment and rolled twice. The driver was thrown from the vehicle and died at the scene. We are also honoring Oklahoma's finest who paid the ultimate sacrifice on this Memorial Day. Boy Scouts with Troop 180 were on hand today for a special ceremony at the Rose Hill Burial Park. They say they are proud to serve those who served our country. I would just like to say thank you for your service. Um, you know, you're the reason that our country is free. It means a lot because my two uh, grandparents, they, uh, they both fought in the war. And another special remembrance was also held today at the 45th Infantry Division Museum. Several dignitaries took time to personally thank all the veterans in the audience. News 9, a small storm victim saved. Why a Metro dog is now being hailed a hero. Plus, turn around, don't drown. Firefighters put their lives on the line and nearly end up dying. Well, we're talking about the storm highway that goes right through Oklahoma, folks. We have more rain, more storms ahead, and more severe weather. Your forecast is next. So you'll know more. Breaking news tonight. This is 45 years of our life. Did you feel like McVeigh lied to you? Well, I know he did. I'm Amanda Taylor. I'll show you the smarter, safer approach. News 9 takes you there. Multiple small tornadoes on the ground. Very different than storms I've covered down here. This is a live look. The tornadoes coming in from the south, they all get down in here. Amanda Taylor, Kelly Ogle, David Payne. On the scene, on the story, News 9. Hold on to your hats, Oklahoma. It's David Stanley Chevrolet's first ever truck extravaganza. One big sale, two great locations. 2014 Chevy Cruze. Just 10 grand. With 1.9% financing. And save over 12 grand on 2014 Impala. Now just 15,000. Tahoe and Suburban. 16 grand off original MSRP. And remember, at David Stanley Chevrolet, everybody rides with approved credit. David Stanley leads the way. On I-35 in Norman and I-240 in OKC. So Hyundai was like, we should have a sales event. And I was like, yes, it's on. <laughs> but hurry in, because these deals are hot. You see those cool cars? Yeah. But look at this smoking deal. 0% for 75 months? Hey, what? Now that's hot. So do you work here? I cook here sometimes. Huh. Usually on the weekends. Use your military coupon now to get up to 5,500 total savings on the Sonata Hybrid. Visit buyhyundai.com. I know how important family is and how important dads are to daughters. She knows my main reason for stopping smoking was for her so that I could live a long life and be there for her. She knows that I am working to be a healthier dad for her. I'm in good health after five and a half years of being smoke free and it is something I don't ever want to turn back to. Quit for good. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Carry the battle to them. Don't let them bring it to you. Howler Dog.
Dodge brings the price battles to you. During the Drive and Discover event, get model battles on over 700 new vehicles. 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee versus 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Limited stock. What Jeep do you choose? Take $6,000 off. Your choice with over 80 to choose from. The price battles are on. We are Ballard Dodge. In South Oklahoma City. High definition programming on News 9. Sponsored by Cox. Oklahoma City's best choice for HD. Oklahoma Zone News 9 in high definition. We want to give you a different look at the trouble in Purcell. Red dirt floods into a home over the weekend, and a woman who really doesn't want to show her face says it has been overwhelming for her family. I don't know where they're going to start. I'm sad for them. They're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do. The family says it saved that cat, and neighbors saved another, but they're not sure about the rest of the litter. Mm. New tonight, some Oklahoma firefighters have an especially frightening view of just how dangerous flash flooding can be. They nearly lost their lives over the weekend while saving a driver who plowed right into rising water. This is over in eastern Oklahoma in Pittsburgh County. And tonight, News 9's Jolene Cheney is here with their story and what they really want all of us to know. Jolene? Oh, Mana, so many times we've seen it. Someone making the decision to forge right into floodwaters, but one driver's decision to do so not only put his life in danger, but also the lives of those who rescued him. That truck? No match for the water barreling across the road. Water should be respected greatly. The driver must have thought he was in the clear when he made it across about three feet of calmer water up the road. But when he came to a dip of much deeper, faster moving water, the man chanced it. He said once he started in, he realized it was too deep and too swift and tried to back out. As water washed into the truck, the driver climbed out and up a tree. He called 911 and then held on. Somebody cries for help, then we come and see if we can help them. The Pittsburgh County Swift Water Rescue Team answered that call, their third rescue of the day. It's tough, but I mean, we we come through it. The team suited up to save the driver and with an inflatable rescue boat by their side, waded into the strong current using a rope system anchored on drier land. They were almost to the victim when two of the rescuers it was not a good sight became victims themselves the water took their footing out they went underwater everybody was screaming at them to cut loose cut loose because the ropes were actually holding them in a v and and pulled them under the two were cut free after about a minute underwater they also drifted into that tree line and held on for dear life Had there not been the trees here this could have been a, a really bad ending. But the trees were there, and eventually OHP's marine boat, which saved the rescuers and the victim, who in this case is another example of why driving through water just isn't worth it. And Saturday and Sunday storms are now blamed for at least three deaths, including a firefighter who died in Claremore while trying to perform a water rescue. Jolene Cheney, News 9. It has been dangerous for sure, Jolene. And with all the flooding, a lot of animals have been left stranded, including one kitten, ironically named Turtle. Now the kitten is safe, thanks in part to the Bella Foundation. And you can see a foster dog there stepped in and actually adopted, if you will, the kitten as one of her own. And how is this for a surprise? Can you imagine? Family in Muskogee finds that giant carp in their front yard. Chelsea Wallingford says there's a pond and a small stream in their backyard, but definitely not big enough for this fish. The family thinks the carp was swept from the Arkansas River and somehow ended up right there when the water receded. And now, your weather with Oklahoma's own David Payne. Well, that's one way to catch a fish. I would rather go to a lake than have it wash up in my yard. But uh, anyway, well, that is crazy. Okay, tonight, earlier in the day, yes, we had a tornado go through Poto, Oklahoma, and our sister station in Tulsa, Chief up there, Travis Meyer, he had his team out running a gun today, tracking tornadoes over there. And uh, again, we did have some damage near Poto and also near Blue, Oklahoma. We had about four tornadoes today in our state off into southeastern and eastern Oklahoma. And that video there from, again, our sister station up in Tulsa. Okay, there's where the tornadoes were. Another one that we have to add near Poto, which is right here. So about four, maybe five tornadoes today in Oklahoma. And now, though, it's quiet. This powerful storm system that came ripping through today, 
is off to our east now. We had nearly 15 tornadoes just today down in Texas, and the counties in red you see from time to time that light up. Those are continuing tornado warnings going on for parts of Louisiana and southeast Texas. There's flooding going on down here as well, and the line extends farther north. Moving through Arkansas, showers and storms in through parts of Kansas, and for northern Oklahoma right now, a few little light showers. Medford, Cherokee, yeah, some light rain going on there, and that is about it. Okay, well, we just keep adding to the record rainfall so far this month in Oklahoma City. Some places, Norman, you've had a lot more than this, but officially where the records have been kept since 1890, 18.85 inches of rain. Of course, we shattered the wettest May on record and the wettest month on record in Oklahoma City, and it's official now. This May is the wettest May on record across the entire state, not just for Oklahoma City, but the entire state as a whole, the wettest May on record since 1890. That's big news. Okay, flash flood watch. Well, a lot of it's gone away, but I think it's gonna come back. And again, that's not good. We currently have flash flood warnings going on for much of eastern and southeastern Oklahoma and a lot of river warnings going on as well. Rivers are, again, just about maxed out and there's more rain coming, maybe not as widespread, but there's still going to be more flooding problems ahead of us. Temperatures right now, 50s in the west, 60s elsewhere. Look at all the storms, folks. It's May. We have a storm out to the west tonight. We have another one out here. We have another one here. We have another one here. And uh, if you're looking for a dry weather pattern, this is what you don't want to see, all right? But it is what it is, and these are going to make their way through Oklahoma between now and and the weekend. The next one arrives tomorrow. Our right, lows tonight in the 50s and 60s might have a little ground fog in the morning. Ground's wet, winds are light. You get a little radiational fog. It'll burn off early in the morning. Overnight tonight, outside of that little fog, the rain will hang on in eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma, a little bit longer. Highs tomorrow in the 80s. I think will be a lot warmer tomorrow, a lot more sunshine. South breeze will pick up, a lot of humidity. And the atmosphere will be unstable tomorrow. And we're going to have a couple of boundaries left over. We're going to have, I think, the dry line trying to set up near the Texas border. And right now, I think we'll probably have some storms fire in the west and then, I think, move east tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. And right now, I have the chance for showers and storms in Oklahoma City tomorrow evening at about 60%. I think it's pretty high. And these storms, large hail, that's what I think they're going to produce because we're going to be more unstable. Large hail, damaging winds, and yes, isolated tornadoes are possible tomorrow right now from I-35 westward. All right, your 9 day forecast, we're not through yet. 30% chance for showers and storms, not as many on Wednesday and Thursday, but what storms we do have could be severe, still could give us more flooding into Friday. And this deal Friday into Friday night, early Saturday right now, this will be more widespread. And that means, well, you know what that means, more flooding. And then by Sunday, all right, by late Saturday and Sunday, slight chance for a shower, thunderstorm. We try to dry it out. And then after that, well, we do dry it out. It looks like next week we get back into a dry weather pattern, and that's the plan. We're going to keep temperatures on the warm side. We'll cool it down over the weekend with highs in the 70s, and then next week the 80s come back, and we could be in the mid-80s by then. So uh, there you go. But I think next week we'll end up being fairly quiet. The jet stream retreats, gets away from us. Right now the jet stream is pretty much overhead. It's just strong enough. We have a lot of moisture in place, not only in the ground, but in the atmosphere. So it's a... It's, a, it's kind of the perfect storm for this yeah. to go on for at least another four or five days. What a May, though. It's going to be May. hard to break this record. Pretty hard. We're and we're not going to add to it yet. Yeah, we're not through yet. Wettest May ever for the state of Oklahoma. That's amazing. Big well, time. We want to give you a chance to keep your family safe, and this also helps out food for kids. News 9, is te News 9 is teaming up with Midland Radio to offer weather alert radios. You'll find them at Homeland and Academy Sports Stores. Also, a portion of the sale proceeds uh, benefits the Food for Kids program. And if you need more information on that, go to news9.com. Radio. Well, the Cowboys are hosting a tough regional this weekend in Stillwater. Head coach Josh Holliday breaks down the competition. Sports is next. The storms have come and gone, but the savings are coming to you here at Fowler Toyota. As you can see, 500 vehicles minor damage, major damage. You get the insurance money, you get the cash rebates, and you get the incentives on over 500 Toyotas and used vehicles. It's our storm and hail damage sale. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity here at Fowler Toyota, Tecumseh Road in Norman. Hello, heat and air. Oh, you betcha, we can be out there on Monday. No, ma'am. If you're needing someone this weekend, you're going to have to call Air Comfort Solutions. Oh, I got to go. Got another line. 
ACS has grown to become the largest heat and air company in Oklahoma. When you need help, Air Comfort Solutions is fully staffed weekdays or weekends. Your winning call, aircomfortsolutions.net, 721-3740. It is a weak man who urges compromise. The 2015 Cadillac SRX, a crossover with space, safety, and style. Lease it from around $339 a month for 24 months. Visit your central Oklahoma Cadillac dealer today. I didn't know that there were abandoned oil well sites on the property, but it turns out there were three of them. We saw those commercials, but never did we ever dream that it was going to happen out here. OERB came out and they cleaned up these old sites for us. And when you look at what they've done, it's absolutely fantastic. This whole plan out here is for the grandkids and just generations to come. The process is simple. Pick up the telephone. It's worth a phone call. Trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Encore, the expectation-shattering crossover from Buick. Wow. During the Buick Spring Sales Event, get $17.50 purchase bonus cash on select 2015 Encore models. Or current non-GM owners get $27.50 purchase bonus cash. One on the left and the one on the right. Can't tell them apart. Try as you might. But a wise man once said that the secret to life is to find one that don't look the same. Find one that don't look the same. Experience the distinct Audi Q5 at your local dealer today. Driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, this is News 9 Sports with Dean Blevins. Happy Memorial Day as we welcome you to the Midwest Sports Desk. Fitting we begin with an event honoring servicemen and servicewomen. The Patriot Cup, supported by dozens of pro golfers and well-known personalities, with proceeds through the Folds of Honor, providing scholarships to families of those injured or killed on active duty. Brandon Whedon in Owasso, the former and current Cowboy quarterback, Ask about teammate Tony Romo predicting a Super Bowl win. Obviously, he's confident. He's got a good football team around him, you know, and he's been waiting a lot of years for for a complete team. And and uh, this is we got a, we got a good football team. So I think he's just excited about what we have going. And and uh, you know, I'm sure if you asked him if he would take back those words, I'm sure he would take it back. You know, saying it publicly, but you know, inside, I mean, he firmly believes that we we have a chance to compete. You know, we were close last year. Cowboys could host an NCAA Super Regional if they win in the Stillwater Regional announced today. The Stillwater Region features double elimination and runs Monday or Friday through Monday, highlighted with three teams within a 180-mile radius. Red Hot ORU and Arkansas play in Nooner on Friday. Four-seed St. John's takes on the one-seeded Cowboys at six. Josh Holiday expects a packed house every game. Strong ball clubs uh, up and down the bracket for sure. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's just a statement of, of the the number of good programs in this area too to have Arkansas and Oral Roberts and ourselves all within a close drive to have that much good baseball being played in one area uh, add to that St. John should be a, a tremendous regional. Oklahoma City Dodgers on an eight game road trip beginning a four game series in Salt Lake. Corey Seager two home runs his first since being called up Dodgers win 6-1. Major leagues, the Cardinals getting their first look at the Diamondbacks this season. Eighth inning, Arizona trailing two to nothing. Mark Trumbo, deep two shot to center here. Seventh home run this season, ties the game. Head to extras, Johnny Peralta. Will it clearing left? This is close. The walk-off homer, his fourth career game winner. The Cards win 3-2 and now have a league best 29-16 record. It's win or stay home for the beard as Steph Curry takes a terrifying fall in the playoffs. We're back in a flash. Hey, guys. Hey, Mom. Keep the change, Frank. Same time next week. When it drives and looks like new, you'll want to treat it like new. Certified pre-owned by BMW. 
Take advantage of exceptional offers through BMW Financial Services. Limited specials, not at Cimarron. Two can eat for 20 bucks anytime. Cimarron's 9.99 eight ounce steak special. Do the math. Come on in to Cimarron Steakhouse. 201 North Meridian. Cimarron Steakhouse. Come on in. Carry the paddle to them. Don't let them bring it to you. Howler Dodge brings the price battles to you. During the Drive and Discover event, get model battles on over 700 new vehicles. It's Ram versus Ram. Ram 1500 Crew Cab versus Ram Heavy Duty. Your choice. Take $10,000 off with over 100 to choose from. The price battles are on. We are Howler Dodge. In South Oklahoma City. What's your home's greatest threat? Is it fire? Storms? Theft? Maybe it's your insurance. Because the wrong coverage can be a disaster, too. AAA can help. With home insurance as reliable as everything we do. With agents who help you get the right coverage. And with multi-policy savings when you combine your home and auto insurance with us. AAA. Great insurance. Great savings. And everything you trust about AAA. This is amazing. I love this car. Real people are discovering surprising things at Chevy. This is a road trip car. We're sold. It's so pretty. <laughs> They're good-looking cars. It feels great. Perfect. This is not what I would expect from a Chevy at all. Get more than you expect for less than you imagined at the Chevy Memorial Day sale. Going on now. Get cash back for 15% of the MSRP on select 2015 models in stock the longest. That's over $4,000 on the Chevy Equinox. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer. We've been thinking, a pitcher who can paint the corners is known as a Rembrandt. Who doesn't love that kind of precision? At GMC, we get that. Not everyone can deliver a 95 mile an hour Rembrandt. This is precision. This is GMC. Now during the GMC Spring Sales event, get over 9,000 total value on specially equipped 2015 Sierra models in stock the longest. Welcome to the show. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Welcome to Hibden Tires Plus. I'm here for my oil change. Great. With your appointment, we'll get it done in less than 30 minutes or your next one's free. The 30-minute oil change. Guaranteed every day with an appointment. That's another plus from Hibden Tires Plus. Hi. Hi. We're here to look at a Camry. Oh, we just came from a birthday party. Oh, let me get you a new one. Those Camrys are so reliable. Yeah. And you got to love that bold new styling. Here you go. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Those balloon towers don't make themselves. Now, during the Toyota Town Sales Event, get 1500 customer cash or zero for 60 financing on a bold new 2015 Camry for a total savings over $3,300. Offer ends June 1st. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jen. Now you both have Camrys. Yeah! Toyota, let's go places. The Midwest Sports Desk is brought to you by Midwest Hose and Specialty. The quality you trust and the service you rely on. Midwest Hose, keeping the industry connected. Rockets must win at home to avoid an 0-4 sweep in the Western Conference Finals against the Warriors after losing by 35 points at home in Game 3. Would the Rockets roll over? Well, no, at least not early as they jump out to a 19-3 lead off the bat and make it 8 of 9 first quarter threes. This Harden step back deuce makes it 45-22 after 1 on 78% shooting. If that's not bad enough, watch Steph Curry take this terrifying fall. Play stopped. And he ended up going to the locker room down 19 points. Harden flings the 86-footer, but it's waved off at half. Still rockets up by 10. Curry returned after no concussive symptoms with 5.58 left in the third. Down 12. Curry ineffective, but then starts knocking down the threes. Pulls to within six with eight minutes, but right now, 116-101, four minutes left. Wow. And, uh, that was scary. Yeah, I thought maybe he had concussion, but uh, they dis they determined no. Okay. Until yeah. tomorrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> he played tonight, though. Glad you're with us. Stay weather aware tomorrow. I love it. It's a big screen. <laughs> You ready for the big game, huh, bro? <laughs> what if the rest of the world rewarded you like Riverwind Casino? What is this? That is a wild card. Nah. Right. Now we're ready for the big game, bro. Riverwind Wildcard members get more big prizes and most of all, more chances to win big at OKC's most rewarding casino.